Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. We are wow. here. We're in Staten Island, and yeah, I came to pick up my Indian. I just said that I came to pick up my Indian. Um, we'll, we'll go more into what I'm talking about in a few. Who am I with? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Pizza Boy Sal. So Sal did me, uh, did me the favor and uh, drove me over here so I could pick up the bike. Then when I head back, pick up the CVO, I'm gonna go for a little ride. Him and his CVO, me on the Indian. Um, damn, I'm happy, man. Like the, 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 the fact that I'm, I'm doing stuff like this right now is, is really amazing, really, really cool. Can't wait to just dish out all this content because uh, I've had some seat time on this bike before, but um, yeah, I'm gonna, it's, it's gonna be in my house now for like two months. And what do they have? They have Indian here, they have Royal Enfield, and they have a couple it? Harleys here too. Used. They do have used Harley, so we'll see what they have inside. Um, let's go. So you want to hop on one of these uh, Royal Enfields? <laughs> I mean, how you look on that, right? This one? Yeah. Right. You might be going to Italia with that. <laughs> <laughs> Could this be your new bike? <laughs> Nothing against Royal Enfield. It'd be fun to like do local rides. Yeah. I go to work, like a travel bike. Yeah. I'm in good shape. It starts. Nah, because all they gave it to us like that, so just kept gas and I'm like, alright, whatever, dude. You're gonna have to gas it up anyway. Yeah. Right? We got the Indian Chief Dark Horse right here with the 116. This thing has 120 foot pounds of torque. It's a torque beast. It's the same exact bike that I, I was actually riding out in Arizona last year. Same color. I absolutely love that bike, man. Um, it's, uh, I don't know. We'll talk about it. We're going to get on the road right now. And we'll talk more about it. I got to fill up because they kind of keep me. I'm big. Um, <laughs> super excited, man. Let's get on the road. Alright, just finished filling up. 13 bucks, man. They uh they gave it to me empty. The guy was like, yeah, they dropped it off empty here and it's been here for months and months. So, really quick, let's go over the story on how I uh ended up with this bike. So, for those who are aware, and if you were here on the channel last year. You know that Indian flew me out to ride the Indian Chief last year out to Arizona. Amazing trip. We were out there for three or four days and we we were riding this bike around the canyons and the mountains and just taking it to its full limits. Um, and that trip was a blast, man. So huge shout out to Indian for allowing me to do that and giving me the privilege of doing that as well. Honored. Freaking honored, man. I'm freaking honored. So while I was on that trip, uh, I was speaking to one of the guys and they were asking me if I was interested on having the bike as a loaner later on so I could get some more seat time on it. And who's going to say no? I was like, hell yeah, dude. Uh, just let me know when. Um, I was originally supposed to get the bike back in the summertime, um, but I guess they had some delays or whatever and they were shipping bikes around all over the country. So I was like, all right, I'm, I'm in no rush. As long as I got the bike, I, I really don't care when I get it. Um, and then the winter time came in and I'm like, you know, I'm really, I'm not going to get any use out of it in the winter time. So I asked them if I was able to pick it up now, either March or April. And they said, yes, it's, it's still there waiting for me. So this bike has been in that dealership for probably the past five months or so, just waiting for me to pick it up. So yes, the day has come and, um, I'm going to have the bike for about two months or so. Um, <laughs> this is awesome, man. I really, I really can't wait to take this bike out. I was really impressed on how this bike handled and how powerful it is, man. This, but it's it's packing 120 foot pounds of torque on this Thunderstroke 116 engine. It, it, this engine just sounds great. It feels great. And it's just like instant torque. Like this bike is a torque monster. This bike is 
the number one competitor to let's say a Harley Davidson Lowrider S. Um, so obviously you didn't get a lot more power with this. Um, if we're talking about the 114, because Harley just came out with the 117 on the new Lowrider S, which that'll be a, a separate discussion later on for a comparison video. And really quick, if you are new to my channel, let me just tell you a little bit about me. Um, I currently ride a few bikes. So in my garage right now, I have a 2020 Harley Davidson Lowrider S. I have a 2021 Harley Davidson Road Glide Special. And I have a 2021 Harley Davidson Pan America Special, uh, which I also have as a loaner for a month. I picked that bike up last week. Um, and I have a 2019 Harley Davidson Iron 883, which I sold, is in the garage right now. Um, the owner is gonna come pick it up uh, as a um, close family friend. But that's, that's those are all the bikes that are in my garage, man. I mainly do a lot of group rides and upgrades to my bikes and discussion videos in my garage and all type of videos. So if that's the type of content you're into, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content, especially with this content coming out. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff with this Indian Chief right here, man. I'm super stoked about it. Man, this this bike is it's jam-packed with a bunch of stuff. I done a full review back in Arizona when I was out there with Indian, but obviously we're, we're gonna be doing another review, especially now that I'm gonna be having it at home with me. Um, obviously I got some more seat time and I wanna just go into more details with everything about the bike and you know, how the bike feels and riding style and everything. So definitely wait for that. We're gonna be doing a lot of comparison videos with my Lowrider S cause I, like I said before, this is uh, the bike that the Harley Davidson kinda competes with when it comes to that um, type of style of bike. So the plan now is to ride back into Jersey because right now we're in Staten Island, New York. So we'll cross the bridge over to Jersey and then we're gonna head back to Sal's house. He's gonna pick up his CVO and then we're gonna take the bikes out, go for a little ride, maybe hit up Bergen Harley Davidson real quick. Yeah, I guess uh, those guys might get a kick out of this one. <laughs> I show up there with, a, with an Indian chief. So let's keep riding and uh, enjoy the video guys. Not the prettiest day out here in dirty Jersey today. No blue skies, no clear skies, just a cloudy day. Yeah, and it's really chilly too, so we got a, it's around like 45 degrees right now. Ah, what's that smell, man? The Jersey Turnpike isn't the prettiest thing to see. And the prettiest things are small either. So we'll catch you guys at Sal's house right now. My hands are freezing. No, <laughs> it's cold, dude. Nothing, man. No, he did. I know. No, no fair. No nothing. Did that help a little bit? Not really. It's more colder. Not really. A little bit. <laughs> what do you think about the bike? I like it. I mean, I don't like that. Yeah, the tank that moves side to side. We'll go over that as well. <laughs> That's like a. I don't know why they do that. Gotta give it a nice wash because it's filthy. How many miles are on it? I don't even know. I mean, check. 2,493. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that still. Too, though, right? Huh? That's touch. Yeah. So you're able to uh, go around to the gauges, map, music, phone, ride. Um, if you want to change the sport mode, tour mode, make it brighter, lighter, move over. How's the suspension? Um, It's okay. If this was yours, would you change it? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. It's like a kind of like a Harley suspension, so yeah, I, I would definitely change it. Pretty stiff. It's a fun bike though, man. I know it's not your cup of tea, man, but nah, but it's nice. It's a nice bike. The Indian Chief Dark Horse. So we just. And look what the sun came out we got some blue skies finally who said that indians and harleys can be friends 
Who said? <laughs> So I ended up changing out his uh, clockwork windshield in the front. He got a bigger one now. He wanted more wind protection. So I'll show you guys afterwards. You can take a look at that. If you're interested in knowing what he got on there. He had the, um, I think it was like a nine inch on it before, which is the one that I have in my road glide. Yep, I'm gonna need a bigger garage.